Yes, welcome to the Jamaica Young Police Channel. To our loyal viewers, subscribers and Patreon members. At the channel, we are a group of law-abiding citizens who believe in the rule of law and respect the rights of every citizen. But not the ones who do not subscribe to such behavior. We do believe in and support preemptive strikes because they save lives. This is a logical conclusion because preemptive strikes save lives and prevent the further loss of lives. We are all about saving lives at this channel. We at the channel aid criminals with a passion and do not want them over here. We do not want your views, your subscriptions, your likes or your comments. Please go elsewhere where the red carpet is waiting for you. Over here, we want you to go to prison or the departure lounge at Madden. Yeah, so if this is the first time here at the Jamaica Young Police Channel, we highly recommend subscribing to stay updated with our latest content. Hit the subscription button above, click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications whenever we at the Jamaica Young Police Channel release a video. Remember that this channel is not an entertainment channel. You know, entertainment channels give you a hybrid between 10 to 15 minutes. This is not an entertainment channel. So you have to go elsewhere if you want entertainment. Remember to give this video a thumbs up because you will find it helpful and informative. Please remember to share the video with your girlfriend, your boyfriend, mama, papa, side chick or side man. And tell them to tell a friend about the Jamaica Young Police Channel. You can join the Patreon squad. By doing so, you will gain access to exclusive content that cannot be played on YouTube due to various restrictions. To unlock this untapped collection of videos, click the link in the description box below. Joining our Patreon community allows you to explore content that complies with laws, rules and regulations while avoiding disruption to our channel's functionalities. Douglas Chambers, who was killed by PMP criminal organization members and it, it came from the top and to date the person, our person who have given, given that order has not been arrested and charged for that murder. So you can go to Patreon and you'll be able to see the face and name of those person. So thanks for your continued support and we look forward to providing you with exceptional content. So moving on to today's video. Yes, yeah, so um, one of our loyal viewers and subscribers has, you know, they always share a video with us about um, current affairs and, you know, things that's current on the internet and what's, you know, making a buzz or, you know, or, you know they want us to comment about something or address a certain topic. So you know that there's this guy by the name of Futa Hype. Yeah, Futa Hype is the epitome of a liar. Yeah, man. And we soon describe him in so many ways. So you have a, you have a, uh, a group of guys, um, two uh, pair of brothers, they are twins, you know, um, Curly Locks and Two Locks. Both of them very, very talented. And I can tell you, um, we at the Jamaica Young Police Channel, we watch their videos. And we have learned a lot from yeah watching your videos. Um, unlike foot type, we don't watch foot type. Cause you watch foot type, you're not gonna learn anything. You're gonna just get dumb like a stone. Cause foot type IQ is limited. He's not that smart. His education, his reasoning ability is like that of a thir uh, third grader. And I say that without any apologies. He's dumb, dumb like a stone. So. Um, when you're talking about the epitome of a liar, you know, can be describing few, a few ways depending on the nuance you are looking for. You know, foot type is a chronic deceiver. Yeah, man. This man lies habitually for personal gain or simply out of compulsion to manipulate situations. You know, so he's, he's a pathological li liar. Someone who lies even when it hurts, hurts him. A con, you know, a con artist who use lies to exploit others. So Futai is that kind of person. Reason being, we at the Jamaica Young Police and that has experience is wrath of lying, is barrage of lying. But we can tell you that we're gonna let him pay. You understand? You so um, his mouth. He like he likes to call people um, because his IQ is limited and he's not intelligent. 
you only um, certain verbs and adjective you know like third grade that's how he can express himself so you know that people like him you know you just stay far away from him but I can tell you that when I'm through with him I'll make sure that for the rest of his life that he will have to pay me because I you know I'm just waiting for that moment you understand God, this guy is he's someone that uses his mouth and tell lies on people without any conscience unconscionable liar so he has been out there um, you know painting this guy this guy by the name of Tolax twins of twins they are from Chisholm Avenue Kingston 13 you know Chisholm Avenue is a part of um, Huntsbury Police here Honestly, I don't know them. I remember them. I don't know the twins. I know that then, you know, these guys. So, you know, we all have said, you know, look at your LCD and you will see at the upper left on the LCD that's two locks. Yeah, man. And um, two locks is a true soldier. I always say soldier when I talk somebody who's serving in the military. We are talking about someone who is true to himself. And we have no reason to believe the rumors that has been spewing about this guy because this man is very consistent. And you know they try to use certain terminology to bring him down. I know YouTube is YouTube is like <laughs> YouTube is a war zone by itself because you know people some people try to build other people and some people try to bring down other people for various reasons. And you know we have been we have been the recipients of attacks too yes character assassination and by including by that um guy foot type um you know who uh, foot type is in the re um rear admiral club because he's a licky licky he's licky licky said my father my father said that foot type is licky licky and you know born to kill i said boy i'm not said the man let me not jamaica let me do anything anything for get a buckler like any see a dance and then beg like them blind and foot type is one of those guys yes but when i say allegedly because him you know foot type is a little licky licky guy at one point to see him and uh, uh i saw him on a photo lying on that car and some people were like wow because the car was not his so they were like saying and you know it would be the, the pose that foot type had posed on the car that would be like a a woman posing in her man's new car but it was not his car so what can one infer from foot hype's behavior um with that pose if he's a rear admiral or what uh, you know i don't know so it just def, you know for one's imagination yeah man foot, foot hype is the wolf in sheep clothing you know what he has presents presents facade of honesty and trustworthy while being deceitful so I also pretend like say my all this moral police and all of that when they come on to people um, you know body in my wife them say my body well them say for type of body police upon the internet and in police everybody who for body I get lick and all oh, that but I man them thing now you don't know, care what people hey look we live in an era you know we are um things that you know were, that was considered apartheid jamaican culture it's not anymore it's been as um we know social media has taken away shame from people so that's why foot i would lie although his lies been exposed and i'm still not a shame one time people used to have shame in there that non-existent i tell you man with a thief and him got him tell the same a thief and him proud of that same a thief you understand so social media take away shame from a lot of people but you know you know if you ask you know the foot type never have no shame from man in. just look on him mouth him mouth like a catfish and you know what a fish is you understand yeah so him is a wolf in a sheep clothing so you know he, you know he might foot type try to use him persona and you know and you try to be a smooth talker who who use lies to gain your confidence before betraying it is a man who you cannot trust so foot type is a myth mythomaniac it is more extreme yeah you know this is a more extreme case where 
someone has mental health condition that makes it difficult to distinguish between truth and fiction. And he might generally believe his lies. So he knows the foot type of mental problem. Because when somebody else get up and just lie on people without any conscience, he might have to be a myth and maniac. And that's foot type. Foot type not even know the meaning of these words. You know? Even if him look at the dictionary in, um, online, him, I doubt if he can't spell myth and maniac. You understand? You know that foot type here is a hypocrite. Yeah man, footer hype, he's a hypocrite. He's the person that preaches honesty and morality, but engages in deceitful behavior himself. The hypocrisy makes his lies even more egregious, dangerous um, catfish foot hype. Just look on him out. So beyond specific labels, so here are some characteristics that's often accomp accompany the epitome of a liar. Yeah, lack of empathy. Foot type of difficulty understanding the harm. His lies cast borders. So he not care. He just want to know say him can to him him hurt people and hurt them character. So that's why he just lie lie on people all the time. Manipulation. So he knows a foot type lie to control situations and people. So that's why he lie and he use the internet to spread all them lies them. Self-serving, yeah, footer hype lies often benefits him in some way, yeah, because it boosts him credibility with him lies them. But I buy people who can't think and them buy into his lies. And you know, so most uh, most of our people from back home and in the diaspora, most of them love when people lie to them, not telling them the truth. And footer hype won't tell them the truth because you know, he's a narcissistic person. And, a, and the epitome of a liar. So you know, foot type of difficulty with accountability. But you know, he needs help to take responsibility for his actions. You know, and we just tell him that you know that these are just some descriptions. Liars come in all shapes and sizes with varying motivations and methods. And you know that foot type exhibits some contradictory qualities. So here are the breakdown of some potential reasons behind footer hype's behavior. Cause you know so footer hype is not smart, you know. So you know him have misplaced confidence. He might have strong personal beliefs or life experiences that shape his moral compass. Footer hype believes his experience is old all the necessary truth and reading is unnecessary. So he's not believe in a reading. That's why I'm so him, that's why I'm so dunce, you know, like a stone. You yeah, understand him, don't like but him sit down at the back of the class with him at behind him head. Yeah, the ball kept turned backwards and he made back of the class. So that's why. So him have misplaced um, confidence. Foot type have a limited perspective. Without exposure to different viewpoints and experiences through reading, his understanding of morality might be narrow and potentially biased. So when he might pretend like say my moral king or when he call himself when he call himself virus king, if my virus if it was a virus or something where you know sometimes you know there's no cure. You understand? So I mean, you know I'm a, I'm a virus king. <laughs> you know, say my virus king. So foot type, you know, focus on live experience. Foot type might value practical wisdom gained through life experiences over theoretical knowledge in books. So I don't believe in a reading. I want him hear our people tell him and that I want him run with and them thing there. You understand? So yeah, you know matter reminder, in a Kinson metropolitan area, as you hear two locks um, said that yeah the way foot I bias um, when he come on to him party, the PMP criminal organization party, him can't speak the truth. But yet see them claim say I'm a moral I'm a big hypocrite and I agree with two locks. You understand? So however, this approach must include historical and philosophical insights into morality. Foot type don't even know what history means or philosophy. So all them things that's you know that's nuanced to him. Potential for manipulation. In the worst case, foot hype may use his self procure moral authority to control or manipulate others. The type of people them we can't think, you know. Because you have, have many people out there. There are organic robots, and these people are people who are, you know, who 
you know, who lacking self-esteem. So here are some labels that might fit this man, you know, depending on his intent. He's uninformed, moralizer. Yeah, so put up is a liar. He understand. He preaches morals without a broad knowledge base. So he don't know. So when he might preach, but um, he don't know. So when he come on to morals, there's a thing like him truthfulness, and him lack that. So him, that's why he don't have the morals. Cause he's a pathological liar. He's the epitome of a liar. Life experience advocates. Futai values real world experience over th theoretical knowledge. So he don't believe in a reading. So everything he just repeat to him here. Self proclaimed guru. If manipulative, Futai might exploit his self assuredness to control others. And I will if I him about the believe in him. I thought you might lie. And you know, trust me, you know, remember, you know, lies always sound sweet, but you know, the truth is a raw truth, so it hurts. So that's why we have more people who gravitate to him. Ultimately, whether you know, whether you can learn from Futai depends on, on his approach. Put yours out to the side, openness to discussion. Is Futai open to hearing other perspective, even if he doesn't read? No, you know, them, you see, most of the PMP criminal organizations supporters them. They're not reading. So you soon hear them say, no, you soon hear foot type say, two locks and, and them, two locks and curly locks, they are labor right because they love read. Although they come from PMP community, as you know, as yours truly. But very educated, you them, because they read a lot. So when they come on to all, see the marital book and them thing, foot type can't write no book. We am going to write, because he don't know anything. only thing he can tell you about, all he can tell you about who are, who are Batman and who are this and, and all that way Jamaican people them love. They don't know when they're uplifting or what they can learn. You watch Kurt um, Tolax and him brother, you will learn a lot. You understand? Focus on reasoning. Does foot types base his morals and sound reasoning, logics or simple personal belief? I remember say belief in a belief and a truth in a so something what you believe in a cause belief and a something say you know. You understand? So belief is something unknown, you know. That's why you believe it. And you have to, that you have to understand that. When you know something that I don't believe, that's a fax. Cause you know. Just like how you then say, uh, oh, boy that woman there, Miss Mary and my mother, or my aunt or my neighbor. You know that for a fact. So when you believe in a something now, that's a something that is unknown to you. So that's why you believe in it. That's why them say believe, kill and believe, cure. So, willingness to learn is for type receptive to new information, even if it comes from books. No, can't the man not read. You know, your man say, for type say, I'm a virus king. A virus, a virus king. But I wonder if you know the meaning of virus. Or a viral, I think a virus is more virus than viral. You understand? So, you know, for type, he's a close minded and unwilling to learn. Then, seeking guidance from him might be of limited value. So, all of these people who are emotionally attached to foot type is because they're fully done, you know. Because if you're not learning anything from someone, there's no reason for you to tune into them. That's why you have so many idiots on, you know, on, on the internet. Trust me, you know, when they come on to YouTube and Jamaican bloggers and all kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, you know, <laughs> trust me, sometimes you hear some things you have to just laugh. You understand? However, if he's open to discussion and have strong life experiences to share, you know, you might learn something valuable, even if it's not directly from books. You know, like, yeah, him can't tell about how I shine out that kill him with bun with all kind of people and all them something. And, you know, and him, him and I live, and while him and I live, him knows about how she gone out with a producer and him knows she had give it up. And, you yeah, understand what I'm saying? <laughs> so, boy, yeah, you can learn from that, you know. And, yeah, and you know, saying in the music, music industry, why this is a dog and dog. Yeah, so you know it's a dog eat dog, you know, environment out here. You understand? 
Yeah, so, you know, as we, you know, we continue in our journey, you know, moving on. You understand? So, foot hype, foot hype is, you know, just hope we don't think at his age, you know, when I go say, you know, he will not um, start reading books, but based on him activity and online on the internet, we don't say, he not have any time for um, read any books. But for him to attack in this man's um, character, credibility, and reputation is wrong, you know. You understand? Because the man did an interview and then you have some people where uh, they might attack him, say him, turn off him, comments. And then him say, the reason why him turn off him, comment, because people are telling about him mother and all of them things, they um, you know, hurtful. But look here, I will tell you all them things to my brother. I will tell you, you know, um, my advice to you, two locks, is that uh, don't turn off your comments. Make them, make them, make them vent. It's just that, uh, you know, maybe you can block some of them and them things. Because look here, at times, I have to block some people over here and them things. Especially in time they come with the character assassination, um, spewing lies about me and all them things. You know, call, you know, unfounded, unfounded um, allegation or accusation against me. Lies. You understand? Because these people can't think, you know, for you it's time, um, day, date, time, place, when, where, and victim. But you know, this is something that they've they have been very, very good at because, you see, once you're very effective in your message and what you're doing, people will want to tear them because they see as a big, they see as somebody who's, you know, who's relevant, so they want to tear them. So I can't, you know, like right now, um, there are so many things that are going on on the internet about the Jamaica Young Police. Um, when, it, um, when I don't commit murder, um, you know, carnal abuse, you know, it's none of these things are factual, it's just lies. But you know, people, if people, if somebody don't like you, you know, if somebody don't like you, all I'm going to do is try to give other people reasons not to like you. And that's what they are, they are very good at. I just saw it go so, and then people then will make up story and all kind of lies. So that's all foot hype. That's why, like for foot hype, that's why I say you will have to pay. But we just time, time is the master. You know, so as we said to you, damn um, two locks, you know, you don't turn, you shouldn't just open back your comment, man. Make them vent and tell you all kind of things about your mother. Because they have said verse about me. You understand? Even the same. Um, thing that foot hype is accusing of people say that to me all the time people do all video about me saying that me a real admiral and them thing there and all kind of thing but i know it's not true so you understand even all the policeman um, said it we don't even work and this policeman um, his name is cliff Duppy police cool man he used to work with ox that's yeah ox that come from schism avenue you know same love shoot dead people and this is the same thing with that policeman because he might actually charge a double murder and then after that he charge a next murder for shoot a, a dead man in front of everybody he might say wicked fool so you understand and he was one of them to where I spread all kind of rumor about me so yeah reporting him to the state department in America say uh, you know Carpal you know Clifford Duppy police cool man is a drug dealer because he rob him rob you know coke from Donovan Bulby Bennett a Spanish town Oh, you yeah, understand, the Klansman, because was a part of the Klansman gang, you know, and still a part of it. Because he was a family with a gunman and Dan at Dom Oblin. And he gave him all shot to. And so he robbed the, robbed the uh, Dan, him drugs. And the Dan said, one of him, sir, one of him, um, him, him, one of him emissary. And then go and shot him up right time he had. Because they knew him, and he knew them, and they knew him. You understand? So that's how it is, you know, when people don't like you and do anything for tarnish your reputation and for make people hate you. So don't turn off your comments, man. Keep it on. Some people, you just block them for the massive things that you know say not true. Yeah, you just block them. You know, you know, you give you know you give people a warning. If you come over here and say things where you know that is not factual, there's no reason to converse with them and them thing there. Some people are telling about your mother and them thing there. Well, it's because they don't love their mother. That's why they might tell you if you go suck your mother and them thing. There. You have to understand that. Because most of the people, they might tell you if you go suck your mother, they don't have no mother. And most of them father, but they come out. Uh. 
So that's why you don't turn off the comments. By doing that now, you make them feel powerful. And they must pray, they must wait for you to open it up back. What you talk about, make them flood it. Make them express themselves. You understand? But some people you now you just block them. That's how we that are what we have done at the Jamaica Young Police Channel. So we are sure you know, um say foot type is uh, you know, I'm a man uh, now I'll say he's a man baby, but he's a big little sissy and like quiet. I'm possibly a real admiral because any man we are depend upon the next man for mine him. What in return the man I get from you, you must be giving something. What well, well maybe a hug, we don't know. So so Futa Hype is a man who get ex, um, gets excessively hungry and spiteful. You know, when he get vexed and then he malice people towards my father, the man that I am friend, you know, David Brooks, that I want to name Gully God. All of them are PMP, criminal organization, supporter. And you know, Gully God can go back at any time you go to Jamaica, they are lucky, but I tell you that. Towards a friend for stopping, you know, because Gully God stopping financial support. And, you know, like, let's struggle with several issues so in vex now you know foot hype vex because a sense of entitlement yeah foot hype he might believe his you know say mother owe him financial help and view view their stopping as a betrayal so him see it as you know because mother stopped giving money and him thinking him see it as a betrayal and him go upon a rant upon the internet so this can stem from an ent entitlement or a transactional view of friendship. So he believes a boy because he helped us uh, Movada when Movada artist at Jamaica. You understand? You know, based on that now, Movada owe him. So Movada supposed to be there for him all the time. So him now him develop this financial dependency. He might be financially dependent on Movada and feel threatened by the withdrawal of supporters. Support. So this could be due to poor money management, lack of employment, or an healthy reliance on others. Any man will depend upon the next man for mind him and them thing there. Dirty man. Yeah man, a dirty man, carousel. And them the kind of man that licky licky as a bounty killer say, yeah man, him not no problem for bend backwards. So when him a point finger upon people and label them, say them a rear admiral, him would have be biggest rear admiral because for him I depend upon a man for mind him. You understand? Immaturity, you know, Futa might not understand healthy boundaries in friendship. True friend friendship should not rely solely on financial support. So them na him na no loyalty is what's in it for me. So it going on. Manipulation. Futa might have used to the friendship to get financial gain and lash out when it stops. So this is a manipulative and exploitive approach to friendship. So in the genuine, foot type is not a genuine person. Narcissistic tendencies. In extreme cases, foot type might have narcissistic tendency, needing constant validation and feeling entitled to others' resources. So yeah, in feasible boy because two him and my father, a friend, my father. Yeah, and I can't tell him my email but bus my father cause three must big selector back then. In Jamaica, him feel say boy the man owe him favor. But him feel understand say there's boundaries. The man have him family and him have him wife and all of them things. So he understand. And for him, I'm my father now sell drugs and them things. And music him a deal. So oh, every week him for give money and them things. And I'm for type and I'm and I'm girl. He understand. So at that it was all boy long to him. I'm for become the man girl and the man ain't that. that. Remember in friendship. Friendships shouldn't be based on financial dependency. It's essential. A healthy friendship offer emotional support, shared experience and mutual respect, not just financial aid. Yeah, so very rare still doing it. Um, you have a healthy friendship in a, with friends, in a, especially in a this day and age, because people are fake. So I'm gonna just pretend like you my friend for years or decades and then one day you find out because I truth you realize eh, that man and I your friend. And we have experienced that right here. That's why we're not a friend. And the Jamaica Young Police Center. We have all people where eh, we stay some literally grow them and we say them, yeah man, them gravitate towards the people them where we and them in a psychological warfare and them 
gravitate to them people. I know long run, them seeing people there. Most of them are traitors and them things and try to destroy them. But I just saw it because some people just don't look them down a loyalty when they come on to friendship. So here are some additional points to consider. Context matters. You know, was the financial secure the financial support and agreed upon loan a one thing or a long standing pattern? No. So context can shed light on the situation because Foot high fees, eh? my father owe him forever. Communication breakdown. Did open communication happen before the support stop? Yes, because the man in the hotel foot high said, Boy, I can't take care of you every day, you know. You understand? You have to find somewhere. You know, foot high keep bouncing from here to here everywhere. And he not really have nothing, you know. All him there does, you know, open up him more, like you see more like a cat, catfish. Sometimes honest conversations can re prevent resentment. And that is what happened, because my father tell him, say, hey, look here, you have to go find a way, because you know, you're there now, you know, for a while, and even if that jail me help you and all them things, me I can't stay, so I'm not take you on like you are, baby, you're a big man, so you have to find a way out. And because of that now, uh, the friendship ends. You understand? Seeking help. If a friend is struggling financially, Offering to help them find resources or give them budgeting advice might be more constructive than simply cutting them off. So, I know my father cut off foot type, you know, foot type cut off my father. So, he may not want to pretend like he's my victim. I let him tell people and he go up on the internet and Instagram and all over, complain and boy, I may build, I may build the gully guy and this and that, like some big sissy, like him with a bingo bag. So, ultimately, a man who reacts with anger and malice over loss, financial support reveals are deeper issues with entitlement, communication or the nature of a friend of friendship itself. So several type of people might spread false rumor about someone's sexuality, as what Futaita has been doing to Tolax, particularly labeling the man as a homosexual when it's untrue, he knows he's not true. Not because through the man sit down and I do an interview with a rear admiral and him thing there. And the man say I try to talk to the youth and you understand him I do it in a cordial and civilized manner. So the man say boy because through him now call the man. I don't know what him call the man. I know say him call the woman them termite, you know, corrosion. So because through him never attack the man and you understand? Him never him him him, him, him you understand. So, and then I said, boy, him go to the rear admiral for growing platform. I don't know. I don't, to be honest, I don't think him even need them guy there and him thing there. So, by him doing that and him thing there, well, him say, I try. Listening to him, he, he, you know, he's trying to see if him can, you know, change the guy's perspective towards, you know, that kind of lifestyle and, you know, change him, change him ways, but they never like the. the the body language on him because they are like saying, I can't have foot type and the others them. We said boy him was too comfortable with the man and he was too cool like him a cozy up to him or like him get um celebrity struck. You know, you understand? So him get struck by, you know, um through this rear admiral guys or some celebrity. I don't know because at first me he bought a guy because I not really understand what I'm saying. Me, yeah, me, I can't tell anything about him. So, and then them, you know, them are saying sell out and them thing. Yeah. So they are saying, boy, because he normally harsh upon the termites, them. He should have harsh upon the man, but yeah, if you understand, say, he was in a man territory, so what kind of harshness them did want and them thing. Yeah. If he, you know, go like a warrior, a war and them thing. Yeah. If you be civilized, you understand? You know, so I don't see what's the abalo and them thing. Yeah. And, how people, how people are so obsessed about people and what they want to do with them life. Hey, look here. I, I used to work, I used to work with that guy in you know, Hounsby, when he was in Kirk Palmer, you know. And anybody who know him will tell you, you know, I want bad police, you know, fearless. Two times him get shot. First time him get shot with me and me and Bobby and Rock down at Riverton. Which part him get shot, me and Bobby just leave around in less than five seconds. So, I, you know, that's why some people say, boy, Bobby and I, so we deal. 
I don't know what they matter about all them things, but I just know so we're covered by the blood of Jesus. Out of everyone who works on the team, on the team, uh, for over a decade, Uncle Bobby and I never get shot. Everybody else get gunshot. You understand? Some people say, boy, I say we deal. I don't deal with it. I just God love you and them things. How oh, you treat your parents, you know? Especially your mother. I can't tell you, say, Bobby is a man who love your mother, you know? You understand? So I just saw it go. So, foot type is such person as he has done. The same to my character and reputation, yeah, man. Him, yeah, man, tell all kind of life on me and how me, how me, um, release all vice notes with an uncle, Corrals and Girl. I see him if a Corrals and Girl or if a vice, if I see him, hey, I think them use, and them have it all over the internet and use ugly some and all them things if you try for it. Um, forget me for answer him. How should I give him the credence? Because on my channel, you know, see him like how them go at two locks to take down him channel and forget, you know, you understand? Because everything, you know, is numbers, you know. And once you're effective, him not deal with politics as like how, me, like how yours truly. Me tell you what is what I have experienced and tell you about the PMP, criminal organization, and the GLP, and what they stand for. But you know, say, like for the PMP, them don't say nothing, them don't, they, they don't see any other video <laughs> about the GLP, they don't see the video that I do about the PMP. So that's why I put the flag or the logo them about political parties and all and the videos them to make people know say a GLP or a PMP and all them things. You understand? Because when I tell the lie, you know, so when people I say, oh, you're a labor, so we say, all right, don't, all right, we're a labor, tell you if I lie, we are tell them can't answer because it's truth. You know? So that's the reason why they try to smear me. Uh, reputation, foot hype and uh, ugly some. And uh, one, I'm not seeing you know, if a woman or an AI, because we live in a different world now, I believe you, me. Man can be woman and woman can be men. So I just say it go. Yeah, so I'm trying try to do the same to my character, reputation and integrity by spreading falsehood that I had sex with an underage girl when I visited Jamaica, along with this PMP criminal organization, mouth, we and ugly some. You know, foot I must be for character assassination that he had done in the past. And he think that he has gotten away, not knowing that it is a matter of time before the wheel of justice is on his neck and make him accountable for his lies, propaganda and PMP criminal organization mindset. So here are some possibilities why foot I behave the way that he has. You know, when he come on to two locks and even with yours truly, foot I is a homophobe. People with strong prejudice against homosexualities might resort to such tactics to bully or intimidate someone. Look, if you show sure yourself and you know say you straight, you never worry about the next man. You understand? The only time now you worry about the next man is when the next man I try to hit on you. You just make him know say you know him rear admiral thing and I wrong wrong tree my back up. You understand? You just make him know that. Bullies, you know, it's a foot type of one like a bully. You know. Um, these individuals may target someone they dislike regardless of their sexual orientation maybe someone as gay can be a way to inflict emotional pain and social exclusion so that's why I do that you know I want people to stop watch two locks but I don't to stop watching brother and I learn a whole heap from him very intelligent youth I tell you yeah man two locks out of two of them well, two of them good still you know, but two locks I tell you him man I'm more like some Rasta bridging and them thing there. Because when I go out, them man, they are going to philosophy and them thing there. I say, no man, I you your thing deep. So I have to hook to it. I, yeah, man, I listen to it, man. One of my viewers, it's um, one of my um, viewers and subscribers, I sent it to me years ago. So from then, I watch him and them thing there. You understand? I don't know them, although I used to work at once, but I don't know them. I don't know the twin them and them thing there. I don't remember them at all. So, People with a grudge, yeah, someone who has a personal vendetta against um, two locks, you know, might spread rumors to damage his reputation using sexual orientation as a weapon. So I that them do. So they use this rape thing now against me. If you say, uh, so me mess with little pain, and guess what? Them can't, <laughs> them can't, them can't, them can't can say, when, when this happened, day, date, time, place, where this happened, 
and you could eat at them now because their mindset, them can't think. PMP, criminal organization, supposedly, them can't think. Somebody just said that. It's just like how oh, even the other day, you know, one guy, you know, you know him now in a big pedophile, you know. You understand? Named Juby from um, Waterhouse. He raped a little picnic, you know, when she was 14 and got her pregnant. I saw a video about him and him out there and you know, I promote lies about me, you know, say, me commit murder, me kill soldier. And me change weapon on my next police charge. Poor me. I mean, not even have to tell people where I, I, I was, you know. Two me know said Blake come to my school and anything. I just pass it on to him and make him deal with it. I don't even answer the boy. I'm female like catfish guy. Him, him a deportee. Can go to prison in America for drugs. And then now, him live in Canada. So how oh, him get clean police record? We are going to deal with that too. Because I want to trouble with him thing, you know. We come in at you, you know. So, so, go. You understand? Yeah. You know see. So misinformed individuals. In rare cases, someone might spell rumor unintentionally due to misinformation or lack of understanding about homosexuality. Hey look here, me can't explain homosexuality to nobody and I'm thinking only thing me know say boy, I two person are the same sex and I'm thinking they were involved in a boy them one because me don't know how and then we tell you say um yeah say you will tell them say boy they you know, the body is not a sex organ. Or you tell them, say, the rectum is not a sex They want to tell them, boy, the breast is not a sex organ, too, and all kind of thing. And them find all kind of excuse and, you know, try to justify wrong, wrong. So I got free to do him one. If I not impose him will for me and them thing, I try to impose I mean, I don't care because them thing they exist enough from time, you know. You understand? Because we, if you notice, all in the Bible. Satan never ever mentioned with homosexual. So that for sure you say not even Satan have nothing to do with them and them thing there. But you can't tell the white man them that you know, because you have to understand it. Remember, you know, if you are a good student of history and know about history, you know that Europe, Europe is the capital for, see, for hell. Everything that is wicked come out of Europe. Whether or not you want to believe it. And when you say come out of Europe, it's of a race of people. You have good people and bad people in every race in them, but everything that is bad come out of Europe. Remember, you know, homosexuality, that's where it's from. Europe. You understand? It exists in other parts of the world, you know, but Europe predominantly. And if you look on all the countries in Europe, if you look them population um, rates going down, you know, because same, same. Man, you know, man, yeah, man, a climb from man and rear admiral thing and all of them something there. you understand so uh, yeah and you know so it is important to remember that judging someone's character solely based on this action would only be partially accurate however it does reveal a lack of respect and fear play so for type you know and just just want to smear the youth and you know cause problem female line but we don't know him but we just defend defend him because the man said, man and a rear admiral, when everybody out there chastise him, the only thing we said, tell him, say, boy, man, turn on your comment, man. Only thing if people are inappropriate, you just block them. You understand? I make mean, them have to open their next account. Can you just tell people, look here, once you come over here and you excuse certain um, language, foul language or disrespectful, I go block you. So I force them, if they want to come back to your channel, they have to open their next account. Because they are not contributing to your channel. I just saw it go. So it appears that foot hype is engaging in harmful behavior by publicly labeling and attacking the character of Tulax based on assumptions about his sexual orientation. Such actions can have serious and severe consequences for individuals' mental health and well being, as well as perpetuate discrimination and stigma against the man. So that's how I'm doing you know. So him want, so him is end game you know, foot type end game. It's a cause problem. It's a cause problem for this man. You understand? And that time is cool you know. So that you know people will run from him and say I'm a rear admiral and him thing. You understand? Although we know say uh, in a some part of, in a Jamaica that kinda of be normalized now, you know. Some things uh, you know say oh woman, I say boy man I feel lick this and I mean I say wow. When I grew up on them things, them things they are no, no, you know. You understand? I'll feel a woman put all your soldier in, in a them now, sir, you know, you know that. You understand? But hey, 
So it's essential to recognize that participating in, in an interview or associate with someone from the LGBT plus community does not automatically indi indicate one sexual orientation. So not because um, Tulax interviewed this guy when he named um, J Frey or Frey Ayer, when he named him Frey J. Yeah. You know, that doesn't mean that the man are, uh, you know, homosexual, he's a rear admiral, you know. Moreover, it's not appropriate to use someone's sexual orientation, real or perceived, as a means to attack their character or reputation. So, you know, foot I put him do and them thing name wrong, but hey, look here, you have to understand, you know, them man, men be a being, and their job is to hurt other people's feelings. Because them not know nothing about them, you know. So in situations like this, the community must stand against discrimination and support individuals who are targeted unjustly. So for type, you know, um, all of the other bloggers them supposed to come out and support this youth. But guess what? Some of them are, um, are attacking and all them things there and some people are saying he must make some disparaging statement that tells people say he them and all them things there. You know, if you do that and them thing, they don't make the emotion get the better of you. You know, think, don't try for, you know, burn bridges or destroy relationship because of what people say about you, you understand? You know, if, you know, you can't just hold it firm and you know, if you go down there and make them see boy the real Kingston 13, you know, you know, you know, if you do that. You know, you just stay calm. Yeah, people say things about you and it hurt. I have experienced it so many times. You know, from me, I have this YouTube channel. The amount of, uh, the amount of crimes that me commit in the police force of Jamaica. That I never even know that me could have committed them the crime there. You understand? And me just make them run and run and run and tell them run out of juice. That just lies. What me I go do? You know, people say, I'll, even as some things were man, I wasn't even there. But I saw me get blamed for a lot of things. You understand? I, hey, look here. I, am, I was on the even short leaf and they are foreign and police involvement and shooting and people black road and my name the on it as my name and Bobby. Bobby was there but I wasn't there. I just saw it go them things there. You understand? People, you know, you have to understand how people when people don't like you. So having a constructive dialogue, empathy and understanding are vital in fostering an environment of inclusivity and acceptance for all individuals regardless of their sexual orientation or personal choice. I'm saying you know, I have no problem with people where they want to do it for them life. You know. I've got to give them that thing. You know. They have to answer to God. You know. I always you know, say the white man if he say money a God and he might behave like him a God in you know, a car. He might tell the world say oh you could have deal you know. and that's why them in a problem with uh, Russia. Russia and look China a communist, uh, communist country. I mean, I think they might be able to tap the communism there. Because China have a strong rule upon the people, them, over a billion people. Them don't get brainwashed. Outside outside influence can't touch them people there and them things there. So, I just say go. So, that's why them say sometimes when you, you meet up with the West, that's when your destruction or your end will start. So, Futaip is an individual who holds strong opinions regarding personal choices and sexual orientation particular within the context of dance and culture. Futaip appears to be a figure who expresses views on social media, often criticizing those who deviate from what he perceives as acceptable behavior. So Futai believes a boy who oh, him feels a boy if somebody a real admiral and him thing that you're not supposed to deal with them or talk to them. If you talk to them automatically him to say a real admiral. So because um Two locks now. Do this thing with this guy when he, this real admiral guy when he, Ray Frey, uh, Jay Frey, a uh, way more name. So, based on that now, through him, a real admiral, foot hypes, start labeling him, and then other bloggers say, boy, the man, a real admiral, and say, um, you know, in body language, is showing that say, boy, him, a real admiral, and them thing, and then now, they must, you know, you have to listen when people are, then his brother, that a curly locks, I said, boy, I'm defending brother and look here, I'm 150%. So some people I see that now as like, he's in that, he must say, boy, yeah, me know some brother, a real admiral and all of them things, which, you know, I don't see that from the, from the, from two locks, I say, he's a real admiral. Man, same bonfire upon them kind of behavior and 
that would never happen to him and not him that. And he must speak for himself. And he may explain the reason why I'm turning off him comment the comments on off him channel, but that's how you blunder and everything. You have to make dissent, you know, come in and everything at times. People, when people don't like you, they may make sure they recruit other people if you don't like you. They may know you, you know. Trust me, you the amount of time where people type all kind of things about me and everything. Sometimes I block them, sometimes I just delete them, comment. You understand? But most of the time I block them because you don't know if somebody already have this preconceived notion about you where they eat you already and then they know you and then believe what them here. You know, makes sense. you try to convince them because you don't know them an organic robot. Especially people them are affiliated with the PMP criminal organization and the Gaza nation. I tell you, them, you can't change them with nothing. All of them smell DD and they stay, it stink. All of them are for the IRK or the PMP criminal organization. Just tell them, say, I roast beef and then just run with that. Forget to say what them knows, I tell them. So, you know, them people, they have to just block them. So it is essential to recognize everyone is entitled to their opinion. Still, it is equally important to approach discussions about sensitive topics like sexuality with empathy and respect for others, autonomy and identities, labeling and unfollowing individual based on assumption about their sexual orientation can perpetuate stigma and harm. So you know say for type, why want to send them to him and you hurt him, <laughs> just unfollow you and him thing there, him fee say something. Well me know when I'm to follow them guy there, you know. Him did come in our group and cause problem last year. You understand? Where well, him started uh, him first start with a voice note, so that's why we tell you. More or less maybe uh, him Yeah, cause I remember saying when I had music business and uh, him met the voice note there and Use the woman a uh, 914 number for send a thing and all them something. They must go pay for them things still. You understand? So engaging in constructive dialogue and promoting understanding and acceptance can lead to a more inclusive and compassionate community. It is essential to foster an environment where everyone feels valued and respected regardless of their sexual orientation or personal choices. So you know so the way things are go right now in our world is either straight they know uh, them straight compliance no room for dissent you have to just go with them and them real admiral behavior or uh, prepare for economic terrorism that's so it are going on you know, they understand them are try to destroy people economic terrorism by you know barring you from doing certain things if you, you know, support them and you know, endeavor and them real admiral thing and you know them are do all kind of thing against you and you don't know say you know, remember say Although them teach ethics and morality and them thing at university, that is just, is not, I don't know, something broad. It's just a specific part of your life. You understand? Not whole, you understand what I'm saying? But just so it going, you can't expect people with it wicked for all of a sudden become good. Like them can't pretend. Remember, you know, Europe are the capital of hell. That I see, that I devil's domain on earth. Europe. So encountering negativity online can be disheartening, especially from individual who starts to disparaging comments and unfollowing others over disagreement. So it was a foot out of one man baby, you know. So as in anything, in just uh, unfollow people and anything. And him just rock, keep rocking up enemy and anything because I'm out. And I like me and anything anyway, or because I shoot him. Uh, him, just, him, him just totally different. However, it is essential to recognize that such behavior often stems from various underlying reasons, none of which justify spreading negativity. So all them are doing tell life and people it no help, it no help, and then there's no justification, and it might pay for it, you know. So consider different types of individuals who engage in such, such actions. So we are telling you why, why Futai behave in this way. So this will go right back to a mental faculty, you know, disagreeable debater. Some may prioritize being right over respectful debate, leading them to respond negatively to any disagreement. Futite is an attention seeker. Some, stri some thrive on drama and use negativity to draw attention to themselves, often by, by disparaging comments. Futite is a smart cyber bully. In extreme cases, individuals may derive pleasure from putting others down online resorting to earthful language and targeting those whom they disagree with. So because him disagree with two locks, 
Because he said, boy, he pretty much didn't want to dictate for people. Do. He wanted to say, yeah, so, you know, um, foot type is like, you know, you know, same as a cyber bully. In extreme cases, you know, um, you know, individuals may derive pleasure from putting others down. Online resorting to hurtful language and targeting those with whom they disagree with. So that's what that's what Futaip and Ugly Some have done to me, and that's the same thing that he's doing to Tulax at um, over there. You understand? So that's why we have to defend the youth and them, the brother and them thing. Because everything of Futaip I say about him I like, and the man come out and say I have to defend him character. You understand? But uh, well. You know, once you show yourself and anything, you know, if you even come out and explain anything to, the, to nobody and anything, but you don't know to the audience and anything. It all depends on the mindset. But when people know the truth and know you because of your character and your credibility and your reputation, you know, if you answer them and anything, because that's how they want, you know. So they want always come and attack your reputation. And it just gives them more oxygen for them to come up with something else. Them soon come with something else. Now you soon hear say, boy, you know, two locks used to trouble Pitney and all them things. I saw them saying PMP criminal organization supported them, them wicked and lying. Frustrated fan. You know, some farmer followers may become disillusioned and react negatively out of disappointment. So, you know, so him now foot tight now, him vexed because the man interview a man where a rear admiral. How that affect him? God, he knows. How that a problem to him because he wants to be moral police. And the man decides to him. I got interview the man. In fact, maybe him can't talk some sense now. But as for them say, the man say him already said so, and him not change a few life that and him thing there. So if you know say a man already, you know make certain statement. You know what's the sense of you? You, you understand? But him say, I don't see him thing that he might try to change life. In maturity, you know, so foot type behavior, you know. Um, I'm not angry, I'm, I'm, I'm not angry in a mature way and resort to name calling so you know say I'm immature so while you know you cannot control the actions of others there are steps you can take to mitigate the impact of negativity on your online experience alright so this is it now don't, en don't engage that's why we never do one them things and them come out with them all kind of lies and them things and we don't engage Responding to negativity often escalate the situation. Instead, consider ignoring such comments to avoid fueling the fire. So that's why when they are beat and a beat and a beat, we don't just never answer them until Isaac Buchanan come along, and that's how we answer him. So that's why I say, you see, that the advice you know where I get from research, you know, do that, you know, respond, focus on positive interaction. Direct your attention towards engaging with followers who will leave constructive comments and offer support. By amplifying positive interaction, you can drown out the negativity. So that's how we do with our channel. When they not attack we and anything, we just, when they come on to negativity, we just block them and we just not converse with them. You understand? But yeah, you know, blocking them. If someone consistently spread negativity, don't hesitate to block them. Don't give them no credence, no allow them for a peace or all kind of thing about you. You understand? Because them just wanted to catch, you know, you know, um, get some attention from others. So that's why you just block them. Creating a positive online space is crucial for your well-being and the well-being of your followers. So that's why we tell people, you know, if you come over here and you use all foul language, we just block you. We know that. We know, you understand? Because once you, you, you start to use foul language, your IQ become like a stone. You understand? Sometimes, you know, you have to take a break. If the negativity becomes overwhelming, consider taking a temporary break from social media. Stepping away can help refresh your perspective and prioritize your mental health. Yeah, and look, you see, when sometimes when you take a break and anything, and them see it as, yeah, say, I run, yeah, I run. So it all depends on how you can deal with it your audience. Just continue making your, your thing, them. Don't block the comment section. Make them who I said negative thing. Just block them. So remember, encountering disagreements online is inevitable. It's out, you know, you can't escape it. But how you respond can make a significant difference. By focusing on positivity, constructive dialogue and creating a supportive online community, 
you can foster a more enjoyable and enriching social media experience for yourself and others. Don't make nobody speak for you. You speak for yourself. Don't add no oxygen to the fire. Because it will get bigger. They might come with others. They might come with other, um, other allegations against you. You soon will hear it. Trust me. Cause because you go answer this one. You know, you, when you come on to your reputation, you, you know, you say you have to defend it. That they want to you give them attention. So once you do that now, I saw them are going to ramp it up. So just listen now for your next one. You understand? The amount we have to deal with, we just ignore them because we know they are not true. What you sense you're going to answer something you're a liar and them things there? You know, I'm not for proof to nobody. Who want to believe? Who want to believe? Never did believe you from morning. If people believe you and know your credibility and your reputation and believe in you, you know, if you answer them. I just saw it go. So that's how we are done our thing. You know, you understand? So we know that, you know, dealing with, dealing with, you know, distressing situation involved for as human character assassination. You know, such, such, such action can have severe consequences, not only for your reputation, but also for your well being and mental health. Understandably, you know, you want to hold those responsible accountable for their actions. Understandably, you know, foot eye behavior concerning an invasive. Labeling someone based on assumption about their personal life, particularly regarding their sexual orientation, is not only disrespectful but also harmful. Everyone has the right to live according to their values and belief without fear of judgment or scrutiny from others. You have just left everything to God. You understand? I any idea, you know. I got a God, I got everyone away of your answer to you, you know. You understand? Although you don't know them, I tell me so there is no God that I just because I believe. Believe you believe in something that is unknown. So I believe in a God. So if they want to say me a fool, I just say it go. But me know say me a fool. So engaging in behavior akin to, to a moral police by publicly criticizing and labeling individuals reflects a lack of empathy and respect for others, autonomy and privacy. It's essential to recognize that people's personal choice and, Id and identities are theirs alone and it's not our place to pass judgment or impose our beliefs on them. So yeah, if a man, if he want to be a real admiral of fame business that from him now come to me with it, me fine, don't impose your madness by me. You understand? Cause you can't come tell me, say, boy, did it. Sweet, no, you know that. You understand? Furthermore, spreading me rumor, rumors or derogatory comments about someone's personal life can have serious consequences, including emotional distress and damage to their reputation and well-being. Promoting a culture of acceptance and understanding and respect for diversity in all its forms is crucial. Instead of policing others' behavior, it is more productive to challenge to your channel our energies into fostering a supportive and inclusive community where everyone feels valued and respected, respected regardless of their differences. Encourage Encouraging open-mindedness, empathy and compassion can help create a more positive and inclusive society where individuals can express themselves authentically, Kali, without fear of judgment or persecution. So this is it now. Hey look, I have no problem with a guy where he wants to do with him life and them thing. Now. The thing is that now, is when he might tell me, say, boy, me must accept that we have living there and them thing. Now. I'm feeling that's it. Me and a God, you know, so me and, you understand, he's a child of God. And you know, I believe in I believe that there's a higher being. And if God said that's not right, not because a man said right means to say me I go ride with man. No. So me know say me I go one day, they go persecute me if me not dead before. Them start the persecution and the purge. Why? So if everybody become gay, every, we're just a dead off, you understand? <laughs> you know, if you put gays on an island by themselves, in a ten year or so there's no only ten years, little by little you can see it just dwindle down. Cause two people are the same sex can reproduce. But you tell them I have to tell you that too, you know. Cause show them have surrogates now and all them things there. Two man a father and mother. All them things they just madness. But you don't know, you know. Some man feels them powerful and them are more god. You understand? But look, you sometimes judgment it 
and God sink some place. Remember me tell you. I just, I just saw it go. You understand? Furthermore, insinuating that someone engaged in sexual activity in exchange for material gifts is inappropriate and unfounded. Yeah, so you know when um foot type of say boy, you know, two locks engage in a thing and make money and them thing that car when me Jay Frey or way more on him. Such a accusation perpetuate harmful stereotype and contribute to stigma surrounding relationship and sexual behaviour. Rather than gossiping or spreading and phoning rumors, it's essential to treat others with respect and empathy. Foot type now have none of that. You know, no respect or empathy for others. Are respecting people's privacy and allow them to define their identity and relationships in fundamental is fundamental to promoting a culture of acceptance and understanding. So in time you might use them words and them thing, the inclusivity and them thing. And the black people don't talk about them, I talk about the rear admiral them, you know. You understand? You know, public to chastising someone for not providing financial support can strain relationships and create unnecessary tension. It's essential to communicate openly and respectfully about expectations and boundaries within friendship include financial matters. So furthermore, no one should feel entitled to financial support from others even if they are contribute even if they have contributed to the success of the other person. Friendship should be based on mutual respect, understanding and genuine care for each other's well-being rather than financial transactions or obligation. So I just suck foot types there. So dealing with someone like foot type who engage in propaganda and lack substance can be challenging. So here are some strategies to consider. Avoid engaging arguments. Engaging arguments are debate with someone who thrives on propaganda and lacks substance can be futile. In a matter of sense, yeah, waste a waste of time. Instead of trying to change their mindset, focus on maintaining your integrity and values. Seek information from reliable sources. Surround yourself with credible sources of information and knowledge. Educate yourself on topic of interest from reputable sources to ensure you are well informed. So we know the two locks up. Smart brother, may I tell you, I learn a lot from him, may I tell you that. Set boundaries. If interaction with foot type becomes toxic or unproductive, setting boundaries is essential. Limit your exposure to their content or interaction and prioritize your mental well-being. You just lock him off, you understand? Lead by example. Model respectful and constructive behavior in your interaction with others, even if they don't reciprocate. Empathy, critical thinking and open-mindedness can influence others positively. Yeah, you don't have to use, look here, you're yeah, yeah, intelligent virgin and them thing in the tool. You don't have to use the whole of a profanity and them thing if you express yourself. Who you knows, so you try to get down to the people them down there. So. But what you can do and them thing, you don't have to use them kind of language. Eh. You can uplift them by not using it. Because when you do that now, you go down to your level and them feel good. You understand, you don't have to do that. You can create an environment where you know you show people, say, um, you yeah, educate them in you know, every way and teach them how to be civilized so you focus on productive interaction invest your time and energy in meaningful and productive interactions engage with individuals who are open to dialogue and the exchange of ideas rather than those who engage in propaganda promote critical thinking encourage others to think critically and question information they encounter including propaganda your can't, PMP criminal organization support I can't think they're organic robot. They repeat what them hear. I saw them stay. They tell us how them read. They said, boy, them, they were told. So that's why them, the PMP just fool them up a lie. Because them not read. So by fostering a culture of critical thinking, you empower others to discern facts from fiction. So I just saw it go. Promote truth. Support individual organizations that promote truth, integrity, and substance. Amplify voices that contribute to meaningful dialogue and understanding. Focus on personal growth. Instead of focusing on changing foot type, prioritize your personal growth and development. Invest in learning, self-improvement and positive relationships that enrich your life. 
ultimately dealing with someone like Futai requires patience, resilience and commitment to maintaining your values and integrity. While you not may be able to change Futai's behavior, you can control how you respond and navigate interactions with them. It's apparent, you know, that Futai, you know, perceives significant dif dif um, differences between Tolax and Futai, particular in their communication style and perceived educational values. So you are built down of the differences um, we have violated communication skills you know we have described for tight communication style as lacking in sophistication with a limited vocabulary and a tendency to resort to profanity that's why we tell us don't use the profanity them tool that's called that uh, you know limited vocabulary because them time you get dumb the IQ you know on the other hand tool that's communication style is characterized as more educational and articulate despite occasional profanity. Tulak's ability to convey knowledge effectively suggests a higher level of communication skills. So Futaip is nowhere near your class. You're a teacher, you're a professor to Futaip or a doctor. I tell you, come here, I tell you, say, hey, trust me, your words, them, when you put your thing them together and them thing them, and you come like you're some big time professor, you understand, or, you know, or some dean. So you have expressed, you know, two locks, you know, um, two locks demonstrate knowledge and oratory skills comparable to someone with a master's degree, positioning him as a knowledgeable teacher. In contrast, you know, we have characterized for type as needing more education, suggesting that his communication style and content reflect a lower level of intellectual engagement. So you know, so for type, third grade. Um, third grade uh, education him up. Independent thinking. You know, so we have suggested that Futa Hype followers and supporters may lack independent and critical thinking skills because most of them are PMP criminal organization supporters and we can't tell us that them and over them bring to the PMP, them can't think. Everything else just follow. They are like organic ro robots. You understand? And in contrast, given this level of educational and information approach, Tulak's audience may be more inclined towards independent thinking. So you see difference between both men. Perceived inter intelligence. Overall, you know, we have painted for type as someone with limited intelligence and educational attainment, contrasting him with Tulak's, who is portrayed as a more knowledgeable and intellectually engaging. So you have so much to go on for you, my brother. So you don't have to deal with foot type, foot type of corrosion when it comes on to you. So it is essential to recognize that perceptions of intelligence and education and attainment are subjective and influenced by individual biases. While, you know, we may personally find Tulax contents more intellectually stimulated, others may have, have, may have different preferences or interpretation. It's also essential to approach discussion with individuals in the intelligence and educational background with sensitivity and respect. Yeah, so you know, so foot type now, in vex now, you know, you understand because you know, say, the reason why foot type, you know, spread um, false, false rumor about tool like sexual activity and engage in character assassination is because foot type. The reason why I'm spreading rumors maliciously to come arm um, to tarnish Tolak's reputation out of spite or jealousy. He might have a personal vendetta against a man. In some cases, false rumors may stem from a personal vendetta and unresolved conflict between individuals. Those spreading the rumors may seek to exact revenge or discredit their target. So as um, Tolak said, the, um, when Bounty Killer do the thing the other day with the fix, and say, boy, the reason why America took him visa because him then like LGBTQ plus thing and true dodos. And him said, them can't keep them thing. Out. Boy, I may tell you, that was like a slap in my face because I had done a video, you know, um, you know, um, to the State Department for reinstating visa and then the man just come out and do that. And then now, you know, it's like I just spit in the slap in the face. So I'm just loud. Attention seeking behavior. 
people who, who crave or thrive on drama may spread false rumor to garner attention or create controversy and data of the type operate. Misinformation or misunderstanding. In certain situations, situation for rumors may arise from misinformation or misunderstanding. People may inadvertently spread rumors without verifying the accuracy of the information. That's our foot type. Look. Cultural societal influences. Some cultures or communities may have stigma or prejudice surrounding specific sexual orientations. Individuals may spread false rumors to reinforce societal norms or discriminate against those perceived as different. So this is it now. You see the reason why um, Jamaicans and our world don't support homosexuality. Most Jamaicans do not know this because they don't teach you, you know. It's because they use it as a weapon to terrorize our ancestors. Yes, homosexuality was used as a weapon to ter terrorize our ancestors. The man them, the strong man them, the man dingoes them. He musculate them and them, the white man them rape the black man them publicly. Cause remember I said them not nah, ashamed, you know. Cause like for us as you know black men, for our next man see our penis that uh you know that, that that's unthinkable. Cause that's why you understand we treat it like a private. The white man you know do that, he uses as a weapon against the black man and mash him up. So that's why it's in our DNA, you know. Those of us who do not support it is because of in our DNA, because of something that traumatized and cause PTSD to us as black people. So when the white people they try to impose them lifestyle on us as black people, that's another trauma again. And guess what? We all use our both sisters well if we betray it. So regardless of the motiv motivation behind spreading false rumor, addressing the situation appropriately and seeking justice for any harm cause is crucial. So here are some steps you can consider taking. Gather evidence. Collect any evidence or documentation that refutes the false rumors and support, and support your innocence. This could include witness statement timestamp or collaborating evidence yeah and look here you say when people claim to them know you then them hear rumor about you and then them like them a second guess that means that them believe too you know when them are going to repeat the lies where other people are said to them and them thing and them are going do it in a style and a style like you know i try to make excuse and then people are dangerous Seek legal advice. If the false rumor have significant harm um, your reputation or livelihood, consider consulting with a legal professional to explore your options for legal recourse. So sue them. Confront the individual. Confront the individuals. If you feel comfortable and safe doing so, consider confronting the individuals responsible for spreading the false rumors and demanding they cease from their harmful action. Well, I have done the same in you know, to ugly some, but uh, him laugh half of me and him think that. So it has shows him deliberate. As I said before, I say it again. I want him also in me done. I want him to live under a bridge of Canada. Focus on positive support. Support. Surround yourself with supportive friends, family, and colleagues who know the truth about you and can offer encouragement during the challenging time. Prioritize self care. Dealing with false. Rumors and character assassination can be emotionally taxing. It have an effect on your family. I mean, if you have children, all the children, I mean, if you hear them tell life on them father, like how you must say a bad man and them thing there. But I just you, you have to just, as you say, not add no oxygen to your fire because they come, they come with the next one. And because you're not going to take them a quote because you understand. Make sure to prioritize self care and seek support from mental health professionals. Ultimately, holding those responsible for spreading false rumors accountable requires evidence, legal action, and support from your community. Stay resilient, focus on clearing your name and restoring your reputation. So, the best way to go about that is to sue them. You understand? So, as we say, you know, two locks, yeah, two locks, the true soldier versus foot hype, the licky licky. Foot hype, mouth, you see, mouth is always open like a catfish. And he's a propagandist. Yeah man, Tolax don't add no more fuel to the to the fire. Cause that's all they want. Once you do that, you get them, you know, 
that means that they might get your attention, you know, and that ignore them. And eventually, uh, they have to deal with themselves. I don't believe foot hype. Nothing will come out of foot hype mouth. Foot hype is a narcissistic and a pathological liar. He's the epitome of a liar. Have yourself a beautiful day. Jamaica Young Police Channel out.